Hi guys, I'm Michal Ulrich. I'm from Anafra company and we are system integrators for Czech market. I'm going to introduce you a brand new gaming station from Supermicro. We are going to use this uh, great motherboard from Supermicro, chassis and some other components for third part companies. The first, we can have a look on a Supermicro chassis, which is really nice built and it's about 10 kilograms heavy and everything is just perfectly shaped and materials are really great quality as well. You can, this chassis is really quiet as well. You can see a really good tools for a hard drive. So you don't need actually any tools. Um, what I would say you can, you can use six times a 3.5 hard drives or a four times uh, 2.5 or obviously all together. See this nice stuff is a magnetic shield for dust. You have got one here, one on the on the bottom, and the one on the front. Um, it's just keep your case nice and clean. Another nice feature is uh, this cable management. You can just go through the holes with the cables so that's mean you will keep all the cable stuff here and very nice and clean on the front so you can see actually just the motherboard graphic card and other stuff you will have in this is the motherboard it's actually a really nice one and very sophisticated well built uh, using all the high-tech technologies you can find in 21 century. This is a 1151 socket for F5, S7 and E3 processors. You can use all of them here. You got a four slots for DDR4 RAMs. We have got a, a three PCI Express slots as a 16, four and two. We have got a, a overclocking over here. And also this is a very nice feature. If you do overclocking, quite often and something goes wrong, you can just reset your BIOS by this button. We've got a six SATA free ports available. And what we have got on the back is, as a, on the motherboard is integrated, uh, audio cards is a 7.1. So we can see the connectors here. So we have got a four USB 3.0 ports. We have got a LAN port and optical audio port, display port, HDMI, DVI, a PS2, and also two USB 3.0 ports. So in order of custom, we will use a 16 gigabytes of memory, and there's also Kingston hard drive, SSD 256. We will use a server Toshiba hard drive, so these are four terabytes. And there's also a really nice one, MSI GeForce 1060.